course the parenting team here from Flying Start. I'm Trish, this is Janice and Sarah is filming us at the moment. Uh, hopefully you've seen Sarah on the app and you took part in the safety quiz that was on a couple of weeks ago. Um, today we're going to think about our well-being and how important it is uh, to look after ourselves and for those of you who've done the Nutri programme with us in the past you might recognise the board that we've got behind us because it's all about nurturing ourselves. Um, to demonstrate this, we've got a jug of water and we've got some cups and we're going to think about all the things that we have to do on a daily basis um, to make sure that our families are safe and well. Um, so at the moment, we might be working from home and we've got to make sure that our children are quiet when we're on those conference calls. Um, we are homeschooling our children as well. So we've got to make sure that everything is done for them. We've got to make sure that they're healthy and um, have lots of fresh air and exercise in the garden. We've got to make sure that we're all fed and watered, so we're making lots of meals for everybody. We might be looking after other members of the family who are shielding at the moment as well, so that's an extra layer. Um, we've also got to make sure that our animals are cared for and we've got to make sure that our house is nice and clean as well. So by that point, we've got nothing left, have we? We're empty. We're, We're running empty. on empty. We're running on empty. So it's really important that we do something for ourselves. Even though it might be something small, it helps us to recharge yes. our batteries. So Janice, can you think of something that you do to help yourself? I like to sit down for about 10, 15 minutes if I can, if I've got 10 minutes to spare with a nice cup of coffee, just mm. to quickly give me a little recharge. Yeah, that's really important, isn't it? Um, I, I do a bit of yoga every morning when I get up, because uh, I find that sort of starts the day off quite well for me uh, and gives me time to think and process for the whole day. Yeah, yeah. nice. I like to read a book in the evenings when I go to bed, so mm. I have maybe half an hour to myself. And it does relax me and it does help me go off to sleep as well. Mm, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. um, I quite like a relaxing bath as well on that line. And if, if I get a bit of peace and quiet, that's even better. So yes. that's lovely. Anything else? Um, sometimes we don't always have the opportunity, do we, to have that time to ourselves because our children are with us 24-7, mm -hmm. which is lovely. But I used to give them a little game to play or maybe something crafty to do and just let them get on for about 15, 20 minutes. And I just sit with them and watch them. And I have to mm. say, I do find that quite relaxing because yeah. yeah. I still had that little time to myself and they were busy doing something. Mm. So, and that was nice. It's a yeah. pleasure watching them yeah. as well, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is, it is, that's true. I've got to say, I quite like singing as well. That sort of makes me yeah. happy. Um, and you will often find me singing in my kitchen while I'm cooking. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that was quite good. And one more, what do you think? Um, I think a little bit of role modelling as well is good, mm -hmm. showing children that it's a good thing to be nurturing ourselves and giving mm -hmm. ourselves a little bit of calm down time. Yeah. So sometimes I would put a video on, mm -hmm. something they'd enjoy, mm -hmm. and we'd sit there quietly by ourselves, just watching the film mm -hmm. and coaching, and oh, mm -hmm. we'd all be nice and calm by the yeah. end of it. So that's recharging for that's everybody. That's recharging everybody. Yeah, which is lovely. And as you can see, <clears throat> the jug is now uh, full well, again. again. And then we can start again. So you can see how important it is to look after our well-being. Yes. And those of you who have done the group in the past will be will know that we like games in the nurture program, don't we? We certainly do. Yeah, so I'm going to pass you over to Janice to tell you a little bit about that part of it as well. One of the games we play using the dice is how we can spice up our lives and believe it or not nurturing ourselves does actually spice up our lives so we do it in a spiritual way physical intellectual creative emotional and social so when we're thinking about how we nurture ourselves spiritually it could be as um, Trish does her yoga in the morning or it could be a walk in the forest and hugging a tree, I won't go on too much about that because I know that my colleagues are so impressed by it. But there is a lot of energy that comes from a tree and when you hug the tree, I won't go on about that. That's very true. Yeah. <laughs> Physically, we could do a little bit of DIY. We could be playing football with our children or netball or a bit of gardening. And I think a lot of that has gone on mm. recently. I think so. Yeah. Intellectually, we could be reading a book 
or doing a little bit of research maybe on some subjects that they enjoy reading about. Creative. Well, there we are. Typical one. Trisha is singing in the kitchen while she's yeah. cooking. So she, yeah. she, you're creating in both ways then, mm. Trish, aren't you? Mm. The That's music true. and the cooking. Yes. The creating food for the family. Yeah. That's and nurturing true. yourself at the same yeah. time. Yeah. That's true. See, it can be done. Painting, knitting, whatever. Emotionally, Trish, do you have any ideas? Um, again, connecting with other people, I think, is important emotionally. Um, yeah. Giving your children a hug, that's really lovely. Yeah. And then maybe getting in touch with other family members or friends on yes. the phone and just hearing each other's voices, I think that's important, that connection yeah. as well. Yeah. yeah. If you've got a dog? Yeah, and the dog. dog. Yeah. And socially, that would have been maybe meeting in the mm. cinema or, but now, I think we are allowed to meet in parks now, so yeah. we can go meet our friends in parks, um, have a cup of coffee outdoors. So mm. there's lots of little things that we can do socially as well, or take our children to the park yeah. and then meet other mums and other children. So there's lots we can do. Anyway, this game involves the dice, as I said, and what we do, we throw the dice, and whatever spice it lands on, then we can think about how we can nurture ourselves. So, again, being very careful to hand sanitise. I'm going to throw the dice to Trish and she can make a start. Okay. Oh, creative. Oh, creative. Oh, singing in my kitchen. <laughs> creative. Yes. Singing oh, like, in I, I, I do like sewing as well. So that's, yeah. you know. So that's creative as, so well. creative as well. So that's creative as well, yeah. Yeah, well, you're creating music and a meal in your kitchen yeah. anyway, aren't you? So... <laughs> Make sure we sanitize. So for me, a sound up then. Oh, comes up. Oh, emotional. Ah, now then, I'm lucky enough to have a dog. Mm -hmm. So my, my children are grown up and they don't live with me anymore. So that means I'm there with my dog to cuddle and hug. And of course, there's always something really relaxing about mm -hmm. when you pat your dog and he looks up at you. Oh, so adoringly. Mm -hmm. It's lovely. It is. Yeah. So that's, that's how I nurture myself emotionally. So that's it, everybody. I hope you all have the opportunity to nurture yourselves and I hope that you've realised through Trisha's demonstration how very important it is that we do nurture ourselves. So good luck with all of that. Thank you for listening. Bye from me. And it's bye from me. Bye <laughs> bye for now. Do you all come out? Who will? Bye.